Jo here and welcome back to a new video and this video is my October to be read. So for the past two months ever since I started school I've been hung up on the same book and I think October is the month that I really need to get back into it because I have a lot of books that are like kind of the October theme that are spooky and I'm just gonna hope that it's gonna help me get back into reading. The third book I want to read is Hunting Prince Dracula but blah. So my first book on my TBR is Ensnared by A.G. Howard. It is the third book in the Splintered series. And this is a book that I've been trying to read for two months. And I just haven't had time to pick it up and finish reading it. I started reading it. I'm about one-eighth of the way in. And I know I'm going to like it. I liked the first two and I know I'm going to like this one. I just haven't had the time to pick it up. And I feel like now is a good time to try to just push it and force through like my reading slump is what some people would call it so that's what I'm going to do. So I need to finish the first book. The second book I want to read is The Bone Witch by Pin Chupeco. I don't think I said that right but it's a big possibility I did and this book is pretty much about a witch that is taught to work with bones and like spirits itself and sort of like witches that deal with like blood magic and like healing and she is kind of like summoned to deal with death and all the spirits and kind of like the bones and reincarnated obviously called the bone witch and there's like there's not many of these but she's been trained and called upon by like an older bone witch and she has to like learn all these new things that are gonna like help her and that's all I'm gonna say and the bone witch. The third book I want to read is Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Monsicalco. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. But this is the second book to Stalking Jack the Ripper, and I really enjoyed that. I read that in like three days, and I really want to keep going with the series. And vampire book. Obviously, it's October, Halloween, that's why I have a costume on, and somewhat Halloween themed makeup. Not really, it's kind of just fall, match for Halloween costume. Yeah, but it works. So what this is about is after the whole events in London, they're going to, I don't even know the place that they're going to, it's something, Transylvania, they're going to Transylvania, that's where. So they lived in London, London and now they're going over to Transylvania to study at this medical school which was uh, Prince Dracula's old like castle like thousands and thousands of years ago and now the murders are reoccurring in the same ways that uh, Prince Dracula had killed people and now they have to solve the murder cases and figure out if Prince Dracula is really real. Hunting Prince Dracula, the third. So my last and final book is Bound by Kira, it's like Sado or Satio and I'm reading it actually online on Amazon Kindle and I've already read this book before in middle school and I really loved it and I want to get back into it so I can continue on with the series. I pretty much know what it's about and I'm trying to like, I want to like rekindle the flame I have with it because I really love the book and it kind of got me more into reading and I know I've said that about other books but this was a book that like I asked my mom, can you buy me other books? But they're all online so I'll put the link for this book in the description and obviously I'm going to show the title like right here but it's pretty much about, her name is Aurelia LaRue and she lives in New Orleans with her grandmother and so she goes to work at the La Plante like home hotel thing and she works for her grandmother's sister which is her aunt that she didn't know about and she secretly is blessed by the goddess of love and um, New Orleans kind of gods and goddesses type of way I don't know what they are so I don't really know their names but she is learn she learns that she's actually blessed by the goddess of love and she can talk to spirits and communicate with them and she's well protected by this goddess but she has to figure out how she really was blessed and why she's actually at the manor so pretty much what happened is the manor is like pulling her towards the manor and something the La Plante family has been like cursed and stuff and they think that she can uncurse them but she doesn't know that and they don't she doesn't know that's why they actually hired her to help and work there this summer 
So that's all I'm going to say about Bound by Akira Satio. I'm so killing the names. So those are the four books I want to read this month. And thank you guys all so much for watching. I know I don't post a lot. I know last week I posted once. And I will next Sunday. But I need to start making more videos. So I guess <laughs> thanks for watching this, this video. I, I need to start making more because I'm kind of bad with that. But I guess I'll see you guys all later in the next video. Comment down below what you think and what other videos you want me to do. No, I don't have a fire alarm and I know a lot of you are going to say that because I know you people watch it and keep referring to my fire alarm. So there's no fire alarm. So I'll see you in the next video and yeah. Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel to see me more being stupid and talking about books. So me stupidly talking about books. I'll see you later. Bye. Did my invitations disappear? What I put my heart on every cursive letter?